Hello! Like my shirt? Mercury Retrograde. It is. It's still retrograde this week as we give you your Read the Stars Weekly Horoscopes at work for the week of February 17th through 23rd, 2014. As Mercury Retrograde goes into yet another week, we remain a little bit at a disadvantage in terms of communication, telecommunication as in computers and phone wires and all that kind of stuff, travel, all the things that have been more than a little bit affected over the last week and a half or so. This is going to go on this week and then into next week and then we're done for a while. Please be careful in all of your dealings. This week, otherwise, not so bad. But I think that it's going to be better for those who have a more creative approach to life. It isn't about your ability, even it's about your approach to life. The ability to suspend disbelief enough and have blind faith in what the best thing is for you is going to happen. I say this because we have the sun moving into Pisces. Um, this is going to take place on Tuesday at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, just before that, though, eh, not such a great day. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through the week day by day. Um, the end of the week also, very imaginative, and that's the end of the weekend. So let's begin by talking about Monday. The Virgo moon splashes on into um, Libra at about 1.23 p.m. So the morning is going to be kind of one of those lost mornings, that kind of thing. So just take it easy. Don't get too hung up on your plans and be ready to shift as quickly as you can. With the Libra moon, once that kind of comes in, people are a lot more understanding and willing to compromise they're also not as willing to make definite decisions. So keep that in mind as you go through your business dealings. Tuesday, I am voting as being not the best day for um, actual business dealings because the moon is going to get caught in that um, big, nasty configuration in the, in the sky uh, with Uranus and Pluto and Jupiter. And Jupiter, when it gets into a, a, a fight like one that's going on between um, Uranus and Pluto, is sort of a, an energy that's going like, yeah, get him, kill him, yeah, get him, kill him. It doesn't matter, just so there's more activity. So it's sort of enlivening that whole thing. Um, and that's why maybe things have seemed a little rough lately in the world. But with the sun entering Pisces, things will definitely get a little bit more spiritually oriented. People will slow down. This is the hope of spring. That's really what the sign of Pisces brings us. Um, it's like, yeah, you know, we're sitting in the water, kind of swimming in circles, but that energy that we're creating in another month or so is going to be spring. And boy, lots of us could really use that after the winter that we have endured. Wednesday, um, the moon remains in Libra goes void, of course, at 4.52 p.m. and in, into the sign of Scorpio at 10.33 p.m., setting up a day on Thursday that's really quite excellent, particularly if you're working in the creative field. Um, you're going to have the moon in a trine to the sun. This always allows the feelings and the, and the will to work together very well. Neptune and Jupiter will also be involved now in this trine. Jupiter's busy this week. And Jupiter, by the way, is the ruler of Pisces. I know that many people say Neptune is the ruler of Pisces, but I don't believe that. Um, I am a traditionalist in that regard, and I really do believe that Jupiter is the true um, ruler or the, the planet that truly has the embodiment of Pisces or, or gives Pisces its ability to just kind of believe in a, a blind faith way. And that's what Jupiter is good for. There's also a sextile to Pluto, which brings that little healing effect or that thing of being able to heal a wound or a heal a difficulty based on the desire to make changes. So Thursday, excellent for doing business. Go for it. Friday, maybe not so good. We'll have the Scorpio moon again, and the, Scor and the moon, the Scorpio moon is going to come into not only a conjunction with Saturn, but a transit where they're both sort of at the same latitude. So there's going to be this like, oh, well, this is what I feel, and somebody just coming down and, and crushing it. So be on your guard um, there. Saturday and Sunday look pretty good, look very party-oriented. So if you want to do something fun, do it on Saturday and Sunday. Um, the moon goes into Sagittarius 5.12 a.m. on Sunday. does go into a square with the sun and a square with Neptune, but that's okay, too, because it's, again, spirituality and, 
you know, even like a religious gathering, something of that nature. And I'm doing something really fun I'm going to tell you about in just a minute. And then on Sunday, we'll have the Sun conjunct Neptune. Idealistic, wonderful, beautiful, spiritual. And also, be careful all weekend about any tendency to drown one's sorrows about the weather in alcohol or anything else that might make us think that we don't really have to deal with reality. Because when you come out of it, you're going to have to deal with reality. Sorry about that. So that's the week um, in, in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com. You can get your very own private video reading from me at readthestars.com under private video readings. Click there, fill out the form, 1995, five minutes with me, okay? It's a really good deal, trust me. Um, and then... On Saturday, February 22nd, I am going to be doing a planet party. I will put in, uh, be announcing this on my Facebook page and Twitter and everything like that. And we'll put it also up on readthestars.com. What's going to happen, people are going to come into a very wonderfully, beautifully uh, intimate setting set up by my friends at Balanced Mind Pittsburgh. And I will look at their charts and kind of say, you know, well, this is where you need a little strength. This is where you need a little support. And then we will have people do body work, uh, Reiki and massage and reflexology and wonderful, wonderful treatments from some of the most caring, beautiful spiritual heal healers I've ever known, okay? So that's uh, Saturday, February the 22nd. Hope to see you there. So that's it for the week. You have a great time and keep looking for the good stuff from readthestars.com.